It's Harry Yee's 103rd birthday. Hard to believe, isn't it? You know, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Another trip around the sun. <laughs> For a celebration this year, I've decorated the bar with 103 chimpanzees. Well, monkeys in this case. <laughs> Couldn't find any chimps. It should be chimps because as we all know, chimpanzees are not monkeys. You're not a chimpanzee. Hear me? <laughs> A previously lost recipe by Harry Yee, the cocktail Chimp in Orbit, dates back to 1961. That's when Harry was working at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Hotel and was inspired to launch his uh, chimp in orbit. Just like Ham, the astro chimp that was launched into space as part of NASA's Project Mercury. I remember seeing clips of Ham on TV back then, just as Harry probably did when he invented this drink. Born in Cameroon, West Central Africa sometime around 1957, Ham was one of 40 chimpanzees captured by trappers and brought to a facility in Florida called the Miami Rare Bird Farm. From there, Ham and the others were sold to the military and transferred to the Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico. Ham at the time was known as number 65. Number 65? Shouldn't have been number nine? Number nine? Number nine? Number nine? <laughs> Kidding ya. Ham at the time was known as number 65 and was renamed at the time of his space flight after the acronym for Holloman Aero Medical. Ham. <laughs> the chimps received daily training there and the handlers taught Ham and the others to pull a lever every time a blue light came on. If they performed the task, they got a tiny banana tree. If they failed, they got a small electrical shock to their feet. On January 31, 1961, in Cape Canaveral, Florida, three-and-a-half-year-old Ham was propelled into space strapped into a container called a couch. Three-and-a-half years old, he was just a baby. If Ham had not been kidnapped and his mother killed, he still would have been nursing at three-and-a-half years old. You know, humans are often considered more intelligent than chimpanzees. Yet you'd be hard-pressed, I think, to find a human toddler able to perform the challenging tasks as well as Ham did. <laughs> anyway, Ham's flight lasted about 16 and a half minutes. He traveled at the speed of approximately 5,800 miles an hour, or 9,334 kilometers, to a height of 157 miles, or 253 kilometers, above the Earth. He experienced intense speed, g-forces, and about six and a half minutes of weightlessness. Everything went as planned, with Ham performing all his tasks perfectly. But then, Ham's capsule partially lost air pressure, and during descent, splashed down in the ocean way off course from its target and began taking on water. It took several hours to reach him. But, miraculously, he was alive and well. When he was finally released from the couch, he only had a bruised nose and an enormous grin on his face. Everyone thought it was a happy smile, but really Ham's expression was one of extreme fear and anxiety. Photographers, they wanted another shot of Ham in his couch, but Ham refused to go back in it. Don't blame him, don't blame him at all. Unlike the rest of the space chimps, Ham was spared decades of biomedical research. He was transferred to the Washington National Zoo in 1963, where he lived his life all alone for 17 years, before finally being sent to the North Carolina Zoo, where he got to live with other chimps. He died 22 years after his historic flight into space in 1983. Ham proved mankind could live and work in space, reads his grave marker in New Mexico. Despite everything, Ham's suborbital flight, along with his courage and heroism, paved the way for humans to explore space. And best of all was the inspiration for Harry Yee's Chimp in Orbit cocktail. So let's honor Harry on his birthday and make another one of his tropical delights. First though, you know, I'd like to thank Marilyn, that's Harry Yee's daughter, for sourcing this recipe out. 
She found it in Beach Bum Berry's Sip and Safari, the 10th anniversary expanded edition. Okay, let's blast off <laughs> and make a cocktail. We're going to start with a Puerto Rican rum. Today I'm going to use a Bacardi 8-year-old Grand Reserva. Uh, it's a nice rum. I, I would imagine, though, you could use other types of rums, uh, but this is what the recipe called for. Like I said, it's a nice rum. It's, it's got caramel notes and butterscotch notes and some spicy aromas and flavors. It really is creamy rich on the palate and has a smooth finish. So. We're going to use an ounce and a half. Followed by an ounce of sweet vermouth. Uh, Martini Rosso, one ounce. Orange Curacao is next, uh, half an ounce. Love this stuff. Followed by a half an ounce of creme de cacao. Now you could use a uh, white, you could use a uh, dark. Uh, I'm gonna use white um, just to keep that brightness going on. We want a half an ounce. That's a lot of booze, isn't it? <laughs> That's it, <laughs> done. <laughs> no, <laughs> we want some juices now. Um, we're gonna take some orange here. And we have a fair amount of juice to press um, because we want to uh, dilute this a little bit. We want uh, three ounces of orange juice. We got a little bit of pressing to do. <laughs> Probably take a couple oranges actually. There we go, three ounces, beauty. Next is lemon. This big old guy right here, yeah, that's good. And again, <laughs> seems like a lot, but uh, three ounces. There's two ounces. And you know, I think that's gonna be enough, to be honest with you. Even though the recipe calls for three ounces, I think two ounces is gonna be perfect. Okay. And finally, a quarter ounce of our homemade grenadine. Yeah, that's beautiful stuff. And again, if you wanna know how to make your own grenadine, eh, check the video on that. One quarter ounce. Ah, look at that, looking beauty. Ah, hmm. got a little bit of nip there. <laughs> okay, all we want to do now is uh, just a little bit of crushed ice. And we're gonna whip shake it until there's no more ice, right? <laughs> whip shake it like, uh, <laughs> like you're getting whipped out in outer space. <laughs> Yeah, that booze just ate up that ice like 90. Okay. <laughs> it's gone. So the reason I'm whip shaking, well, what's a whip shake, right? Um, I added a little bit of crushed ice. You could use a cube and just enough to chill that, to chill your drink down. You don't want to really dilute it that much because we're going to be serving it over crushed ice and that is going to create your dilution. We need a glass. I've got this wonderful, 24 ounce, 710 mil uh, glass, and we're gonna fill it full of uh, crushed ice. I love this tall chimney style. Beauty. Yeah, let's see where we fare there. And just pour it out. Ooh, neat little color. We may need a little bit more crushed ice. We will find out. Yes, we do. Just a little bit. A 
beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Normally it's a pineapple, of course. Uh, oh, a monkey. Ooh, ooh, what color monkey? Uh, blue might be uh, a nice contrasting color. <laughs> An umbrella, but well, no, we're not gonna go there. Usually a, a Vanda orchid, uh, but I don't have any. Um, but you know what I was thinking? We need some rocket fuel to get ham back home. So, <laughs> we've got uh, one of our spent lemons, right? And we're gonna fill it up full of, oh my God. Uh, let's use 151. I'll fill it up. I think I got a leak in there. No, no, we're good. Ah, oh, I need a lighter. Shit. Oh wait, and light her up. Blast off. Huh. We might, we might need to turn the lights off here to so we can see this rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. Isn't that beauty? That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Hell, you know, we, you know, we could put, uh, we could put our pineapples in there anyway. Toasted pineapples, yeah! <laughs> uh, anything goes, why not? I think garnishes are a real personal thing and uh, you need to play around with, right? Okay, so we need a straw. Yeah, I got a bamboo straw. Actually, you know, we really, well, I don't know. I'm gonna blow the flame out. <laughs> I'm scared. And uh, I just wanna maybe put it in here. Actually, let's throw that rum right on top. Yeah, baby. Okay. Ooh, I'm smelling burnt rum. Yeah. Let's give it a go. That's really nice. Though the drink, some have said, may look like a stripped-down version of Trader Vic's Tortuga. It isn't. Vic's drink actually looks like a spiked-up version of the La Florida cocktail by Constantine Ribelegua. Who knows? <laughs> you know, Harry Yee's Chimpin Orbit launches to the nose with an orange and chocolate bouquet. Lemon and orange are on the first sip. Then the drink transitions to the rum with chocolate and orange peel notes on the palate, with a range of botanicals from the sweet vermouth. It really is a delight. You know, I'm kind of glad I only went with two ounces of uh, lemon juice instead of three, because uh, that's just my taste buds, right? And it just, it, it just, it's harmonizing so well with the, uh, the orange. Um, another <laughs> fantastic cocktail by Harry Yee. Give it a go. If you want to know more about Harry Yee, the man, <laughs> check out some of his other uh, cocktail recipes we've done in the past. Um, in the meantime, happy birthday, Harry, <laughs> and I need some more monkeys. <laughs> I need more monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know how an orange one's going to sit in there. Uh, just fine and dandy. Yeah. Sorry, chimpanzees. Not monkeys, come on. Mm. This is a really good drink. It really is. Whoa! <laughs> Damn you all to hell! You blew it up! Oh, wait a minute. Bruce, wrong, uh, wrong, wrong movie. <laughs> oh, sorry.
<laughs> Check out some uh, other Harry Yee videos. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Make a chimp in orbit. Happy birthday, Harry. I'll see you next year.